Hi guys. It is a lovely Sunday night. That would be Sunday night, February 14th, 2021. I'm not sure. I think I might be cutting the top of my head off. I better back this up just a little bit. Uh, it is Sunday night, February 14th, 2021. So that, of course, means it is Valentine's night. So I am here by myself, obviously. Realizing it's been a while since a cooking with ham bone, so we're going to cook the single most depressing meal of the entire year. You know, my uh, one of my favorite Greek philosophers, Epicurus, as I've mentioned before, you know, stating that the single most depressing thing a human being can do on the planet is eat alone is to have a meal alone. Uh, the single most depressing thing you can do. And so of course, having a meal alone on Valentine's Day has to, I think Epicurus would agree, the single most depressing meal of the entire year. So we have chosen tilapia. We have chosen tilapia for uh, the most depressing meal of the year. Now I have got my jasmine rice. My jasmine rice is just about done. And so I think it is time to uh, prepare the tilapia. Now, some of you you know, might already be raising a stink that Hambone, you don't eat fish. No, I don't eat seafood. I do not eat fish that come from an ocean. I do eat tilapia, which are basically chickens with scales on them. So what I have chosen now, if I were grilling this or just pan searing it, I would use the, uh, who is this, Tony somebody you know, this Creole powder, but uh, since I'm doing a little more of a deep fry, I am going with the Louisiana fish fry. This stuff is damn good. Uh, there's three different varieties. We are going with the New Orleans style fish fry in the yellow package. Now, of course, getting the fish fry powder, which is basically seasoned flour, onto the fish. Uh, we're going to use the hard to find paper bag. You can still find paper bags on the planet. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, you know, put some uh, Louisiana fish fry while my oil is heating. We're going to put some Louisiana fish fry into a paper bag. I see my Louisiana fish fry is not real fresh. I'm afraid it's gotten a little moisture in it. So we're heating up some uh, olive oil. So we have our olive oil and our Louisiana fish fry. And we're going to take our tilapia filet. Let's drop it in the paper bag and uh, shake her up. Alright, you want to get the tilapia filet evenly coated with the Louisiana fish fry. Now, before I got the Louisiana fish fry, the only thing I had to use was uh, Krusty's buttermilk pancake mix and I did find that uh, if you don't have any Louisiana fish fry if you get some of this Creole powder and uh, you know put it all over your filet and then dust it with Krusty's buttermilk pancake mix that works almost as well as the Louisiana fish fry 
But uh, we have some real Louisiana fish fry. So let's see how that works. All right, we did a fine job of an even coating. And then we're going to drop it in to a skillet. And I'm cooking this over medium heat. Uh, let's see if my... All right, my rice looks just about right, the way I like it all uh, clumped up together. Mmm. Absolutely perfect. <coughs> I cooked the... Uh, I cook the jasmine rice with a little bit of butter, soy sauce, and uh, the Creole sauce. So we're going to make a bed of uh, a bed of jasmine rice. I don't think my heat is quite high enough. I'm going to turn this on to like a medium high heat. And uh, figure out how I'm going to turn this. So you just simply get your hot oil in your skillet, dust your tilapia with that, and you're well on the way to a delicious, depressing meal. Uh, so you Doomer chicks need to be watching this. So I. Any Doomer chick who uh, answers my Valentine ad, I am not that bad of a cook. When I have to, uh, I can actually cook up a pretty good meal. So, uh, now I should be having white wine with my fish. I'm not normally a wine drinker, but. Uh, Somehow we have half a bottle of Colizone Isabelle Veneto Cabernet Sauvignon. All right, directly from Italy. So since it is a the most depressing night of the year, I'm going to have a glass of red wine by myself. Uh, Okay, so normally I would be eating, drinking white wine, but we are going to, uh, we're going to have a little glass of red wine with our uh, Louisiana fish fry. I'm running very low on my tequila. This will be an after dinner margarita. So anyway, while this is cooking, what can we talk about? I was thrilled to see I just got an email from Andy the Gardener. I, uh, I thought that Andy the Gardener had kind of dumped me. thought I'd even been dumped by Andy. You know Andy uh, ran off with Kevin at Black Bear News, uh, kind of dumped me. But uh, apparently Andy had a little run-in with Kevin and that gang over 9-11, uh, over you know, uh, Kevin and a lot of his listeners are major 9-11 troopers and uh, Andy the Gardener is not a... 9-11 truther to put it mildly so I guess they had some little fracas over there at Black Bear News. I know that Andy Andy did not, how long did you not speak to me for Andy? It was about six months that Andy the gardener did not speak to me because I am a truther light. I call myself a truther light which means I do believe the planes hit the building but it was not the planes that brought the buildings down. Okay, I'm on that fence line. 
I do not believe that unadulterated horseshit uh, mainstream media cover story. I'm absolutely shocked that Andy the Gardener, of all people, just swallowing the uh, mainstream uh, media coverage of that story uh, hook, line, and sinker, but Andy and I have uh, just agreed to disagree on that. Uh, that is the one thing that Andy, the gardener, and I have uh, ever seemed to mildly disagree, but I'm glad that Andy is still speaking to me because I am a truther light. Uh, okay, so what we're doing here, we're just trying to get our tilapia to a nice golden brown. That's what we're aiming for. You know, fish has always been tricky to me. There's this very critical point between being not done enough and overcooked. So I'm aiming for that magic moment <clears throat> between uh, you know, I love red wine. I, I just can't drink it that much because I get a little bit of a headache from it. All right, so uh, now I don't know why this fish seems to be sticking to the bottom of the skillet. I Maybe I did not have my oil hot enough when I dropped it in there. But but fish is just a uh, it's just a gamble somehow. Cooking fish, uh, there's no uh, I'm I'm sure some professional cook could tell you exactly how many minutes to brown it on each side and all of that. So, uh, we're going to take these fine plates. I remember back when uh, Fiesta Cranberry and I uh, were still uh, buddies. Fiesta Cranberry has the same plates that I do. Imagine that. So, uh, I'm going to get this ready and uh, that rice all set. Mm. So anyway, speaking of Andy the gardener, apparently what we're going to do with Andy, uh, I have never had a live stream on Humpty Dumpty Tribe in my life. Never done it, so when I get back to New York this summer, uh, Sister Sandy at Environmental Coffee House and I, we are going to team up and bring Andy the Gardener onto the show and uh, we will finally pin down that greased pig and do a kind of double live stream with uh, Environmental Coffee House and Humpty Dumpty Pride. This is not browning like, you know, I'm beginning to think, guys, that the Krusty's Buttermilk pancake mix actually browns better than the New Orleans style uh, fish fry. I, I had better luck using the Krusty's buttermilk pancake mix. But I'm sure it will be delicious. It's this, you know, the, the trick with fish is knowing that uh, that critical moment to uh, to pull it off the stove and this thing about the tilapia fillets is usually they come in kind of two parts and and half of the fillet is a lot thicker than the other half so you actually have to cook one half 
of your tilapia fillet longer than you cook the other. Uh, you see, because one a half of the fillet is, well, if I do the camera, it'll, uh, it'll throw it out of focus. Half the fillet is like twice as thick as the other half, so I'm thinking that the thinner half might be, uh, might be about ready. Yeah. All right, it's looking good now. So we're going to take the thinner half off. Drain it on a paper towel. And uh, let that thicker half cook for a couple more minutes. Uh, the thicker half is really losing all its breading. Damn it. Why it is doing this? I did not. Usually, this uh, this Louisiana fish fry does a little better than this. So we're going to get our uh, our rice pilaf. Pilaf, I think, is French for pile of pile of rice, make a bed of, of rice here in our plate. Oh man. A fine depressing dinner for the most depressing dinner of my entire year. Uh, all right. Now we have the we have that now the next piece of the fish puzzle not gonna be so successful. I'm hoping I'm not getting ready to have tilapia sushi. I don't think I am. Okay, are you ready? God damn it! Tilapia spitting at me. All right, I'm taking you off now that I have a burned hand to add to my depression. Oh well, it came out in two pieces. All right, we have a fine looking Valentine dinner to eat by myself and uh, I think my two Doomer chicks, I think Sandy and Jennifer are coming on so uh, I'm going to take this fine looking tilapia meal and my glass of wine and go uh, have the most depressing meal of my life of the year Valentine's Day 2021 with Sandy and Jennifer so I will not be totally without Doomer Chicks today. I wish you guys could join me in my depressing meal. Bye guys.